The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Inu Tabi here with a G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing. This is Scarlet, uh, one of the first wave that's available out right now. I got it on Amazon.com. It came today or two days ago along with Duke. Haven't got Roadblock yet. Um, I'm not totally sold on Roadblock just because it's a weapon. Um, you know, I think the figure itself is fine. It's just, I don't know, man. The gun is just doing something to me. I don't know. Anyway, but this is Scarlet. And uh, she is number five of the series. So I have the uh, Snake Eyes. It was a special Hasbro Pulse exclusive that comes with the extra weapons and the background display rack and all that. So this is a, another addition to the collection and happy to unbox it and take a look at it today. I'm very excited for what they're doing with G.I. Joe. If you can go on their website, they've got a, a new one that has a bunch of characters on there. You've got Zartan, the Dreadnoughts. We've uh, seen the pictures of Cobra Commander lately, so this is uh, hopefully a long line of very interesting and, and hopefully impressive G.I. Joe figures and maybe vehicles down the line, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so let's take a look at the box and packaging first. Uh, this is their standard packaging here, G.I. Joe Classified Series. They get kind of a cartoony um, design here on the, the front. We see she's in the package, comes with crossbow, looks like three knives, Two of them are similar. One is different from what we can tell. It's the top of the box. Nice blue and white. Here's the side. This kind of shows uh, Scarlet's background. Fighting uh, on parachute. Carrying a crossbow. Doing some karate. And uh, maybe undercover or something. And then here we are on the back with some of this artwork. We've got the Alley Vipers, Baroness. Um, Gunho, Roadblock, Snake Eyes, Duke, Scarlet, Destro, Cover Commander. This is some Trouble Bubbles, a bunch of vehicles. Uh, you know, the Armadillo, the Wolverine, uh, Bridge Layer, Mobat. What's that thing? I don't know what that thing is. There's the Jeep, Vamp. Yeah, a bunch of vehicles on there. Well, we'll see what comes out. Here's some Sky Strikers and some Fangs and... Man, I used to love G.I. Joe's again. Anyway, let's, uh, well, well, here's on the side. We get, um, these. I don't quite know what these are for. Um, no files, kung fu, crossbow, I don't know, key and sword. It just says scarlet. And the bottom is legalese. Let's get her out of the box and take a look at it. Okay, let's look at the knobs first here. So we've got. Two of this knife here, serrated. It's got a gripped handle. Like that. And then we've got, let's see what else. We got a smaller knife. So a smaller knife here. And then we've got another one of the serrated blade knobs. No paint on any of these. And then we've got her crossbow, which basically, I guess, just plugged in like that. And it's got it kind of loose. Maybe you can take it apart. I don't know. Tan held pistol. Uh, remember if. I don't know if you remember or not, but uh, 3.75 as a kid had a hand crossbow. Just to give you some reference, I had every single one of G.I. Joe's uh, releases and figures in Cobra and, and G.I. Joe from like 82 to 84 as a kid. I had all kinds of vehicles, the Asp, uh, the Mobat, I had the Headquarters, I had his tanks, the Jeep, um, I even had like the Flat Cannon. Um, the twin barrel Gatling gun, all the little play sets, the little robot, the t guard tower, all kinds of stuff. I had all the straight arm Joes from Short Fuse, Zap, Grunt, Stalker, Snake Eyes, Scarlet, you name it, I had it. But, uh, yeah, this is just a modern version of her 
crossbow. All right. Well, let's look at the figure itself. I'm going to turn around like this. Hold on. So let's look at her accessories on her. She's got a belt here, a little pouch, not a hoister, holster. Why do I keep saying hoister? Holster. I, I don't know. Uh, so that's loose, rotates around, doesn't come off, but you can spin that around. Got a little gold paint here on it. That's about it. And she's got the pack for a crossbow here. You can plug in, sorry, if it's, you can plug in a knife here. And I'm going to assume that the oddball knife goes in there. Let's try it. Yep. Which I'm not really a fan of that. Um, and then her pack is here with arrows and we've got two slots. And I think these other two knives go in here. I'm sure. Ah, why is it so tight? I'm just going to plug them in here. Okay. So then they'll stay in there arrows mounted down and that's loose as well i guess you could take that off if you take the the head off all right so let's look at the figure so the biggest glaring design to me is her hair is orange instead of like red um the ponytail doesn't really bother me i guess it's just it's more orange and she looks like a kind of like a teenager she looks a little young here Nice paint. We've got gold, yellow, blue here on the gauntlets. We've got the purple undersuit, kind of like a gold armor plate with yellow. I, my good buddy Larkin has done the repaint on this, and it looks fantastic. And I kind of wish that was the way they went with it. We've got an armor plate here with a star on the side. We've got her shurikens on her arm here. And I think the original figure had that, so that's pretty neat ode to that. Got the gray pants with a red suit stripe down the side here. Eh, mine it looks like the paint isn't that great on that one. Got the armor plated knee joints here with gold and yellow and a blue stripe in it. Same thing with the boots. Boots just got kind of like a jet booster on here. Just, you know, I guess they're doing kind of a little sci fi to G.I. Joe, which I, I don't have a real problem with. You know, I know they're not going to do direct green fatigues on everybody. So, you know, I can live with it. And then we got the red, red underneath there. So let's take a look at articulation here. So the head is on the ball peg. She can look down, around, up. The ponytail's going to limit it in there. Yeah, she can look up. Do a lot there. Arms on the ball joint. Then we have a kind of a butterfly. Go in and out. Armor plate will limit it going out here. But she can go all the way around. Uh, elbow bend is limited. We got a swivel low. Nope, upper bicep. We got a swivel at the elbow. We've got a wrist swivel and we've got a in and out, it's super tight. Got an ab crunch. Waist rotation, that's nice. Thighs, legs go out to there. Back is limited. Out to there, here's our knee bend. Knee bend is real nice. And then we got an ankle toe down up, ankle rocker, yeah. All the good stuff that you kind of expect on a figure. Yeah. So probably the biggest glaring thing, I guess, with this figure. Man, I, I think it's the hair to me. I, the, really, the outfit doesn't really bother me as much as the hair. I wish it was a little bit more red. But it's a cool looking figure. Got some nice weapons. Comes with the crossbow. It's kind of what you expect with Scarlet. A nice ode to the original outfit. This is a nice addition to the 6 inch line. I'm glad they 
gone the way they have gone here. That you know, nothing too crazy, nothing that's you know too sci-fi. I mean, you know, yeah, the armor plate on the arm and the the, the gold gauntlets with the rock. You know, that can be a little extreme, but you know, I can live with it. Is this as good as Snake Eyes? No, but it's not. It's not too bad. So it looks like we're going to get some more of the original Joes. So that'll be be nice to just put them all together. Duke and Scarlet, Snake Eyes, and some of the rock and roll, and some of those guys. So. Yeah, I, you know, I'm surprised they've got all oh, this is so loose. I guess some of this. Well, it won't come off. I wish she had a, like a pistol or something to go with her. This I wish they would do a few more accessories on figures like this. I guess it kind of spoiled with Snake Eyes. I'm guiding him. He got so many swords and all that. So, but yep, yeah, that's been the review of the GI Joe Classified Scarlet. I appreciate you watching this video, and I appreciate you subscribing to the channel if you will. It helped me out a whole lot. Um, check out the rest of our Chicken Cons. It's Sardo New Spy 82, Kato's Collection, and Lorcan's Lair. And we'll see you down the road. Yo, Joe!